Okay guys, um, just a little addition video here to go with that last video for the logic tips about quantizing and timing of audio and stuff. Um, someone was talking about how it's a chore if you use the flex to try and sync, say, a snare track to something else or quantize snare track because the little snare off beats or ghost hits can get moved around and it messes the whole thing up, right? Well. Look, check it out. If we just get this bit, this this funk bass I was using before in the previous video about timing. Okay. Double click, open it in the editor. Uh, we can pull on flex here or up here on the track area. Pull on flex, turn on flex, and it analyzes it. And you get the default standard analysis. And in this case, we look at where the gray transient markers have been put. It's put one transient marker on the beginning of all the big hits, like the first bit there, 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 here, there, etc. But it's also put little transit markers on some of these sub hits. Now, if you were to quantize this or try and sync this to a groove track, master track, these little sub hits are going to become part of that syncing attempt by Logic. But look, if we go to Preferences, Advanced, and tick Advanced Audio, bada bing, we now get File Edit. Now Track Edit is just Region Edit. This is just a big version of the region here. All right? There's not really much you can do in this region edit that you can't do in terms of flex that you can't do with the region here on the track but simply when you double click the region to open the editor here it is nice and big and you don't have to zoom in on this bit of audio in the arrange area right you can just work on it here and it stays the same size there but this is basically just a copy of this region here they're identical but we now file edit now this is the actual file Beware that if you cut or do anything to this, you are actually cutting the file on the disk. This is the actual file on the disk, whereas this and that there, these are just a, a graphic representation of the file. If you chop it and reorder the file in, in different, so different bits of it are in a different order, it won't affect the file on the disk. But if you chop this, you, you're affecting the file on the disk. But flex editing doesn't affect the file. Right? What we have here is we have transient editing mode now that is flex switch it on like that now you don't see the flex here but look put the flex on there and you can see the relationship right so there's whoops hey there's i'll try and get some of that file there's come on now we, there's the file with some of the end just out of sight there and it's the same as the flex analysis we had when we did flex on the region. It's put in these sub hits and everything like that. But now you've got this plus and minus button here to increase or decrease the number of transients. Now the plus is grayed out because logic has detected that there are, logic has detected that there are no more loud hits in this piece of audio. It's put a transient on every single hit, so we can take them away with the minus button. Taking them away starts to take them away from the less the less the the smaller transient attacks so we just start subtracting them and as we do we see that's reflected in the flex analysis here take away take away and it's it, it will mostly take away from the little extra hits like that one there but that even though that's a little sub hit on the base it's quite defined so you may take away and find that some of the major hits are having a transient marker removed from them and by the way the light gray grid you see behind that is samples tooth 20,000 40,000 60,000 80,000 samples if you want to change that let's go here to view and change it to bars and beats like that now you see sixteenths quarter beats bars etc um okay so we can subtract some of these transient markers i'm just clicking subtract and it's taken them away taken them away taken them away and now it's taken the transit markers away from most of the little sub hits like the one there and like the one here and here and most of the big major hits 
they've got a transit mark of the orange line left on them. But in the process of subtracting, you might remove some you want, like the one here. There's a big base hit, I want one on there, and there's a big base hit, I want one on there. And I think I want one on this big base hit there. And perhaps also that one there. Any that when you do the subtraction to par it down to just the key main loud hits, you may lose some of them and you can put them back easily. Just hold down uh, what is it? Uh, command. And it brings the pencil tool and then you can manually paint them in. Boom. There's a new transit marker on that big hit there and there. And you can move them then. Trim them and you can zoom right in and exactly trim where the transit marker is. Oh, I'm going to move that one. I want it actually to be there or there, whatever I like. Uh, logic will attempt to put them on zero point crossings where the audio is exactly at zero, not in a negative or positive cycle. You can go along and adjust those if you want at the finest resolution if needs be. Okay. So you can add extra markers where some have been taken away when you did the subtract and, and with the minus and trim it down a bit. Let's put in one there, bomb like that. And I think I need to trim that one because it's not quite on the money where I put it in. It is a little fiddly, this, but oh, was it that one there like that? A little bit trim on that. The, or the other thing you can do is you can just, let's reanalyze it. Uh, where's the analysis? Let's go back to this track region edit here and reanalyze it. Analyze audio flex editing, it'll reanalyze it all over again and put back the transient markers as before. Go back to file. The other way to do it is you think, well, I'll just leave the basic analysis and I'll just manually erase the ones I don't want. And uh, you just use the um, eraser tool and you rub out. Come on, how do you get the rubber? I had it a minute ago. There. Rub out the ones you don't want. Boom. 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 Yeah, that one. Let's get rid of that one. I could take that one out on that hit, which is part of a longer bass phrase in, in boom. Take that come on. Take that one away. That one I could go if I want it to. That one. Yeah, that one. I could leave that one in or take it out. But you see what I mean? It might be easy to just rub out the ones you don't want. But you know, in essence, what you do here is reflected in the transient markers in the flex. And and you par it down so you're just you've just got the flex markers on the main hits that you want to be synced. Yeah. So just to show you how that works, and then um you know you know you can um, you can mess with that and further experiment, right? Okay. Cheers, guys.